Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, if you saw yesterday's video, you know that when we pulled into this Love's truck stop here at exit 201 in Jackson, Georgia, we got ourselves into a little bit of a situation. We, we came around a corner and realized there was no outlet. There was no room to make a U-turn with Goliath and uh, trying to back it back out um, probably wasn't the smartest solution because of how packed the place was at the time. So we got lucky and uh, there was a bobtail sitting where Goliath is now and that particular driver decided to uh, move his truck to allow us to get into space. But because of that, we had to pull in nose first because the way we're positioned. And the thoughts were that in the morning, there'd be enough trucks here gone that I could back out into another parking spot and then get my angle to get out. And that didn't happen. As you see, it's still a very busy parking spot. There's trucks pulling in right now. So let's let this truck get out of the way and I'll show you what we're planning on doing to get out of this. So in order to fit in the parking spot, we had to pull way far forward past the line as you can see, into the no parking area. We were pulled right up to this box truck. Now my hopes was that if I could it back up in the morning, that that truck would be gone and I could just pull straight through. But it looks like that truck is broken down and isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It has flat tires, missing headlights, and it's all rusted out. All right, guys, so here's the plan. Luckily, if you look down the driver's side of Goliath, you'll see that there's a bobtail, but he's set back in. I got a lot of room between the end of our trailer and the front of his truck. Next to him is another bobtail, and he's set back a little bit too. So I'm hoping that if I can back Goliath out and aim the trailer over there towards that kind of brown truck, if I get the trailer to go in between the garbage can and the truck, that should leave me enough room with these guys being set back to get the arc to be able to pull out of here. So I'm gonna have Katie stand back here and spot me. Uh, we're letting Goliath warm up right now, and hopefully we're gonna do this here in just a few moments. I got out but as I was trying to turn down the driveway this truck right here was coming down there's only enough room for one of us so I had to wait for him to get out of the way so I backed it back up like somebody else is getting pulled over they whipped right out in front of us and then the cop turned on his lights
builders, what they had done is they put a piece of sheet metal that came down from that extra block and bolted to the roof of Goliath. And actually, they had it riveted when I first bought it. Well, the rivets weren't sealing, so I took it out, I put bolts in it, I added this brace that's up here above my head to stop it from moving so much. And I bolted it all together. Well guys, for the most part, all was going well. We're in the 295, going around Jacksonville. We're almost to the river. We lost another trailer tire. It's the middle one this time. Well, this really sucks. But at least it's not with the new ones. Remember we put that one on on the way to Sturgis? And we put that one on on the way to Sturgis? No, correction. 
One of these went on on the way to Sturgis and one of them became the spare. Then we put the spare on, which I believe is this one coming up from Ocean City. So this is the last of the tires that were originally on the trailer when I got them. So maybe it's just all those tires are defective or something and they're on their way out because every tire we've blown so far has been one of the original tires on the trailer. I say original, original when I got it. Now I checked the date code on them a couple of days ago actually. And uh, they're only 2019, so they're not that old. So I don't know exactly why this happened, but you know what? We're gonna get it fixed. So what we gotta do so we can get moving. Guys, there we go, new tires on. Get it off the blocks, keep moving. All right guys, tires are fixed and we're getting ready to get on, on the way. You know, that's the last of the old tires on the passenger side of the trailer. There are still two on the left side. So, I don't know, we'll just have to see how long they last. Um, obviously, no matter what, gotta go get another spare as soon as we get to Daytona someplace. So that problem is solved, but as you can see, this problem here is getting worse. I know it's only been a few moments for you, but it's been a number of hours for us, and it just keeps keeps getting worse. And I haven't even looked to see what's down the side of Goliath yet. I'm gonna wait till we get to the speedway and I'll look at it some more. Guys, we're here, Daytona International Speedway. Um, we're a day early. We're not really even supposed to start being here until tomorrow for load-in. Um, they don't have any of our spots marked. I drove over there by where we're supposed to be. Didn't see a, a mark with us. So we just pulled over here off to the side. So we're we're right outside the stadium, over here out of the way. That way when they do get here in the morning to start marking things off, we're not in anybody's way. Um, you know, other than the tire and the sealant, I think everything went pretty well. Um, I noticed that there are some sealant drips all down the side of Goliath, so I'm imagining that stuff was flying everywhere. 
kind of feel bad for cars that may have been behind me, but I'm gonna get up there and uh, look and see how, how bad it is. guys we are no longer the speedway we were over at one daytona back here behind the best pro shops security kicked us out of the speedway they said we're not allowed to be there until tomorrow morning at 8 a.m and apparently it was a huge inconvenience for them for us to stay in that parking lot out of everybody's way like we were for the night like oh we don't have the faculty and i'm like you don't need faculty i'm self-contained like well insurance i'm like you've already got my certificate of insurance on file you're already harmless from any liability due to me because that's the way we roll anyway they weren't having it they told me I had to go somewhere else for tonight well choices are limited and uh this is no overnight parking here so we're just gonna see if we can get away with it we are gonna go outside and get something to eat so for right now we're patrons and i think we should be okay um i'm gonna try to scrape off some of that excess uh goop off of the mirror and the window and uh I don't know, we'll see how that goes.